Okay, in this video, we're going to download MySQL and some tools that go along with it. Now, there's lots of different ways you can download MySQL. You can go to the MySQL website and download it. I think they have an executable version. There's a MySQL workbench you can download and install. We're not going to do anything like that. Instead, I'm going to download something called WAMP. And if we go to Google and just type in WAMP, we see this WAMP server. And the reason why we're going to do this is because this will download WAMP server. It will also download something called PHP MyAdmin which is sort of a graphical user interface that lets us look at the databases that we create. And we don't necessarily need to do that, but it's just a nice visual way to confirm things. So if we create a new database with Node, we wanna be able to make sure that it exists and we can do that in Node and we will, but it's also nice to pull up PHP MyAdmin and just sort of at a glance, see that it's there and that everything's working. Now. In the real world, you don't need to do that. If you're creating a Node app with MySQL, if you're gonna push it all up onto the, onto the web or something, you absolutely don't need this. But just to learn this, it's a good idea. So WAMP is a Windows program. There's also a version for Linux called LAMP and a version for Mac called MAMP. So if you want the Linux version, type in bitnami LAMP. And then the first thing listed here is this bitnami.com forward slash stack forward slash LAMP. And you can click on that and download and install that yourself if you're on a Linux. If you're on a Mac, you go to MAMP at Google. And it's just this MAMP.info forward slash EN. And this is a program for Mac. So you can go ahead and download that yourself. I'm on a Windows, like I keep saying. So I'm going to download this WAMP. So we just go to the WAMP server.com forward slash EN. And OK, so here are some installation instructions. We don't really need to go through any of these because we're not going to be doing most of this stuff. Now, the main thing, WAMP is like a server, right? It allows you to run PHP, Apache web server, and MySQL all on a Windows computer. Now, we're not going to be using any of that. We're just going to be using the MySQL and the PHP MyAdmin that comes with it. So we can ignore most of this stuff, but it still makes it really easy to learn. So that's where we're going to use it. So uh, we can click the... Let's see, start or the downloads, either one. So right here we have WAMP server 64 bit 3.17. And if that's a different version by the time you watch this video, it doesn't matter. Just download whatever's listed here. The latest version is fine. Here's one for 32 bits, but your computer is probably not a 32 bit. I don't know if there are any 32 bit computers rolling around out there anymore. Chances are you don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And we get some more stuff, blah, blah, blah. We can ignore. Let's see. It's free. Blah, blah, blah. Let's download directly. Click this link right here. And it comes to the SourceForge page. I generally don't like downloading stuff from SourceForge, but this is okay. And wait a few seconds, and then this will pop up. And we can save this anywhere. I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. So we click save. Now that's a pretty big file, 300, almost 300 megabytes, 286 megabytes. But for some reason, my internet is just crawling today. It's really windy here in Vegas. So maybe some, I don't know, phone lines are down somewhere or something. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll pick this up as soon as this finishes downloading. Okay, so we finished downloading. We go ahead and click this or you can navigate to your desktop or wherever you saved it. Double click it there. We'll just click this. Pull this over. Uh, select language, English, okay, this over, I accept the terms and conditions. Uh, okay, so here's some installation instructions about some things that you have to have on your computer, you likely already have them. But if you get any errors, read through this and do what it says. <laughs> I'm just going to click that. And we can install this anywhere, but just click the default, that's fine. It already exists because I've already installed this in the past. Yes. Uh, create a program shortcut. Okay, next, and then install. So it's going to take a few minutes to <laughs> install. It's going pretty slow, and there's a lot of stuff to install here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. We'll pick back up as soon as it's finished. Okay, so we get this. We're not quite done, but we got this little pop-up box that says it would like to use Internet Explorer as the browser. Now, there's no real reason to use a browser at all for WAMP, so I'm not sure why this is doing this. So definitely click no. You don't want to set Internet Explorer as a default for anything ever. I use Chrome if you might 
I might use Firefox, whatever. But I'm gonna click no. And it's asking what text editor we're gonna use. Now we're gonna look at this in the next video, but again, it doesn't matter which text editor you use. You don't have to set that up in WAMP at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and click no again. And it's almost finished here, about 30 seconds. And uh, we should be good to go. So after this video, we're gonna download a couple more things very, very quickly. Uh, we just need a, a text editor to write our code. We need a command terminal to run our code. And we'll look at that in the next video. Uh, this is taking a little bit longer than 30 seconds, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause again and we'll pick this back up as soon as it's done. Okay, so here's some explanations on how this thing works. You can read it if you want. We don't really need to. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this thing in the next couple of videos. So I just click next and then go ahead and click finish and we should be done. So that's all for this video. Like I said, in the next video, we'll download our text editor and our terminal very quickly. And then after that, we'll jump right in and start using this thing.